Hi there, everybody, and welcome to the Tune Review YouTube channel. And today, Eddie Howe has been speaking to the media ahead of the massive game uh, at Bournemouth tomorrow night. And uh, we have also uh, what Callum Wilson had to say in a recent interview, some possible transfer news uh, for the summer. And, of course, the uh, Amazon All or Nothing documentary. Keith Downey's had something to say on that as well. So this is the Daily News. <laughs> Hi everybody and welcome to the Toon Review and of course we may as well start with the comments that Callum Wilson has made uh, in a recent interview regarding tomorrow night's massive game uh, against Bournemouth at the Vitality Stadium. Kickoff is of course 5.30, commentary right here on the Toon Review YouTube channel. So uh, once again we ask you, you can watch it on Sky, knock the sound off and listen to, uh, to proper commentary on this channel. Uh, now Callum Wilson has of course, uh, as we probably expected, come out and said that if he does score tomorrow... Uh, he won't be celebrating against his former side. Uh, he will keep the celebrations to a minimum. Now, I just want to see Callum Wilson score a goal. Uh, whether he celebrates or not, uh, I want him to you know, score a goal. Now, he said it's in respect to Bournemouth, obviously, because uh, for the opportunity that they gave him, uh, he had a wonderful time at Bournemouth, as we well know, scored lots of goals for them, uh, which is what got Newcastle United interested in the first place. So um, I don't mind, to be honest, if he doesn't celebrate or what. I just want him to put the ball in the back of the net. Um, so if he starts, of course, uh, but we'll come on to Isak a bit later on uh, when we find out what Eddie Howe had to say about Alexander Isak going into this game. Um, now, again, you know, nothing given away about who he's going to start, but if Callum does score, uh, he won't be celebrating against his former side. Um, now, Fabrizio Romano has uh, come out and said that uh, possible indications that Newcastle United may well be interested in Inter Milan player Denzel Dumfries. Um, now, Dumfries, of course, played in the World Cup, uh, very, very good player, very pacey winger, um, and the uh, price is around £34 million, which it doesn't seem a lot, to be honest. Um, you know, it, it, that would probably uh, interest Newcastle if we could get him for around £30 to £35 million. Uh, Denzel Dumfries, for me, would be a, a hell of a signing. Uh, really, really good player. Um, but it, it's, it's rumoured that he's wanting out of Inter Milan. Now, for uh, Romano to report it, uh, I think... Inter Milan are going in for Le a Leicester player. Um, that's as far as I can read, but it all depends on um, the Castaned, I think it is, going to Inter Milan as to whether they'll let Dumfries go. So there's still a lot to happen uh, within that deal if it is to, uh, if it isn't to indeed happen. Now, Keith Downey, uh, has also confirmed that Newcastle United's uh, documentary for the All or Nothing thing on Amazon uh, filming has already started. Now, we, I suggested this in a video the other day that there was rumours that uh, the filming had already started, and indeed it has. Um, now, this isn't going to be coming out till uh, sort of back end of 2024, uh, but obviously because of Newcastle's success this season, which probably nobody expected, um, Amazon has started filming early for the documentary because they don't want to miss the opportunity of Newcastle possibly winning a trophy for the first time in a very, very long time. And of course, um, battling for Champions League because that was going to be the all or nothing story, the the rise of Newcastle United, so to speak. So um, filming has started early. Um, but what we hope is obviously it doesn't sort of cause any unrest in the dressing room with cameras there all the time. I mean, I'm sure the players are used to that anyway, but, um, you know, it, it is thought that uh, sometimes uh, when you know, something serious needs to be dealt with and the cameras are always poking their heads in. It's it's difficult to concentrate. But I'm sure Eddie Howe will uh, we'll manage that perfectly, to be honest. Uh, now, our old friend Gary Neville has come out with a load of bollocks again, as far as I'm concerned. Um, he's predicted that Spurs will beat Newcastle United into fourth place. Now, Spurs have been very on and off this season. They've picked up a little bit of form lately. Um, and of course, you know, beat Man City recently. Um, but look, the reason he's given is is rather strange because he's come out and said that Spurs have better quality of players. Now, was it me or did I just imagine us absolutely thumping them down at their ground earlier on in the season? Um, I, I, I may have just dreamt it. I'm sure I didn't. Uh, but for me, I mean, I don't understand where he's getting that from. I mean, how how is the, Tottenham's defence a better quality than what we've got? You know, it, it, it's just... Again, the bias for the top, these supposedly top six clubs, you know, people banding around that Martinez and um, Varane are the best defensive partnership in the Premier League. 
Well, hang on. You know, without being biased, you know, stats prove that Fabian Scher and um, Sven Botman have been perfect together. And we haven't conceded hardly anywhere as near as Manchester United have this season. So th- this bollocks, it, it it just winds me up week after week, man. It really does. Uh, you know, better quality. I mean, I would think, you know, looking at the midfield, you know, you could say, yes, Harry Kane, Son, I'd love them in a Newcastle United side. Absolutely. But, you know, we've got Isak, we've got Wilson. Wilson's a very good striker when he's on form. You know, we've got Maxi, we've got Anthony Gordon, we've got Miggy. I mean, come on. You know, I mean, Kulisevsky is a very good player as well. So you probably even it out up front, but come on. I mean, a better side, better squad of players. Maybe, you know, Tottenham have a bigger squad than us, of course. But not for very much longer. Um, but obviously, Gary Neville, once again, is talking out his arse. Anyway, uh, moving on to Eddie Howe's press conference. Um, now, first of all, he wanted to talk about Christian Atsu, who, um, of course, you know, was caught up in the rubble in that dreadful earthquake over in Turkey uh, and um, and Syria. Um, now, the stories about Christian Atsu are, you know, wavering because, you know, a few days ago, it was it was thought that he'd been found uh, he had a leg problem and, and, and you know breathing difficulties had been under the rubble. Um, there was a few then stories banded around yesterday that he hasn't been found, that he's still missing. So nobody quite knows what's going on at the minute with Christian Atsu. Um, but, you know, hopefully we'll get some confirmation shortly. Uh, now, Eddie wanted to start the press conference on that and said it's hugely worrying. Uh, I really enjoyed working with Christian at Bournemouth. Uh, he's a great lad and a great player. Uh, our thoughts are with him and his family, and we hope for some good news. So there you go, guys. They're hoping for some good news. Now, does that mean that he's still not found or good news regarding his health in the hospital once they start working on him? Uh, it's a very, very strange one for me. Um, but hopefully, uh, you know, pray to God that Christian comes through this uh, and can resume his career at some point. Now, on to Alexander Isak. And, uh, of course, missing last week because of concussion. Uh, we know that that was protocols. And Eddie went on to say he'll be in the squad. Uh, he's fully recovered with no problems. Initially, he got hit on the head and he didn't feel too bad. But we had to follow the protocols. He's been good this week. Now, everybody is clamouring for Isak to get a start. You know, there is no doubt that Isak needs a start. And given, yes, Callum Wilson scored last week, but he also missed a couple of really good opportunities to bag some more goals. He just doesn't look at 100%. He looks just a, a, a yard short of pace or whatever it is, I don't know. Um, and Isak's chomping at the bit. And, and, and how long is Eddie going to keep a £60 million striker sitting on the bench? Uh, you know, he's, he's got to come in at some point. And I think the front three could possibly do with a, a, just a revamp for a few games. Players get a rest. Just try something different because, uh, you know, we have become a bit predictable the last few games and that has been seen on the pitch. Um, but hopefully um, we'll see Isak very, very soon. Uh, now on my target, now we were led to believe reports last week claimed that he was back in training um, and hopefully back in the squad very soon. But that's not the case. Uh, my target... Um, He's not training yet, and uh, Eddie confirmed that he's close to training. Uh, he's worked hard on his rehabilitation uh, with the physios, and he's getting close to returning to the group. So still nothing, nothing at the minute for, for Matt Target. And that worries me a bit, given that, you know, um, Dan Byrne hasn't quite been at it and looks very, very leggy at the minute. Um, and, you know, to put a proper left back in. Uh, now, whether Eddie does that when Target comes back, I don't know, but we'll we'll, we'll see on that one. Uh, now, on the week's preparations uh, for this game, uh, he said we were disappointed not to win against West Ham. Uh, so there uh, was that feeling that we needed to do better in certain aspects. Uh, we've tried to refine that and put it right uh, to find the missing ingredient to try to get us winning games again. Uh, now, obviously, we all know that um, we haven't scored way as many goals as we should have. Uh, the opportunities that have gone awry in matches is is incredible right now it's it's going through the roof um chance after chance disappears um and of course you know we we sort of went out of the game against West Ham you know they, they controlled most of the game it has to be said um and then we got back into it again second half putting the pressure back on them but it wasn't enough um chances were missed and it's been happening in three or four games now um but you know I believe that if if this is our blip then it's fantastic because we're still not getting beat 
which is the main thing. Uh, but I believe we've got to go to Bournemouth tomorrow and really, really put a show on. Um, and, and get a few, it is an opportunity for us to go and get some goals, get that confidence back of hitting the back of the net. Um, whoever it may be on the pitch at the time, um, but at least Eddie's, you know, he's realizing that you know we do need to be better in certain aspects, and I'm sure one of those aspects is set pieces because they have to be better. They really do. Um, the size and height we've got in that team, we should be bossing set pieces. Um, now, finally, he, um, Anthony Gordon. Now, a lot of people are wanting Anthony Gordon in the side because he looks really, really exciting. Uh, certainly gave us uh, more than Maxi did last weekend, but. You know, the, the Maxi uh, situation, that's going to go on for as long as he's at the club, in my opinion. That will never disappear. Um, you know, people are loving, people are hating, people don't are, are going to stay right down the middle on him. So you just don't know. Uh, but on Anthony Gordon, he says, a really positive debut last week. The first impression you give the supporters is such an important moment. Uh, I did some uh, one-to-one work with him on Monday, and he trained with the group for the rest of the week. Uh, he's shown some really good signs. Now... Is that an indication that he's going to get a start tomorrow? Uh, because, you know, <laughs> I just want to see our best players on the pitch. I really do. And, um, you know, Eddie's got decisions to make. And, and, and they're not bad decisions by any stretch of the imagination. Um, he'd have thought to himself that he, he wants to be in a position to make these big choices before games now and have the opportunity to have this kind of standard of player on the bench uh, so we can replace quality with quality, which is something that we've, banged on about for weeks now um i still think we're short in midfield i'm not gonna lie about that i think we, we we've missed a uh, a trick in the transfer window to bring somebody else in but we've got what we've got now at the end of the season the transfer window's gone there's no point whinging on about it anymore to be honest uh we've got what we have uh, and we need to support the lads through it so um it's very interesting but let me know what you think about what eddie howes had to say and what you think he will do uh as in first team selection tomorrow um so there you go that is the news guys uh so far today so as i say let me know what you think i mean is uh, is callum wilson right not to celebrate um you know are you interested in uh, denzel dumfries is he a player that excites you um and of course what about gary neville's comments uh just ridiculous uh and let me know what Eddie Howe had to say what do you what do you think you know are you are you intrigued into his first team or do you think you'll just Stay the same. Keep the same 11 again. Uh, it'll be interesting to find out. Uh, but there you go, guys. If you have enjoyed today's video, do hit that like button. It really, really helps the channel. Uh, and thank you to all our recent subscribers and welcome to the channel. Uh, and if you're new, do hit the subscribe button. Come and be part of this wonderful community on the Toon Review. And of course, hit that notification bell, which will let you know when we go live, upload or schedule a show. Now, if you're watching this on the Friday, um, of course, we've got TTR Friday tonight at 8 o'clock, where we'll bring you all... Uh, up to date with all the latest stories we'll have a chat about any of the big news that's gone on during the week and of course the big quiz at the end where you get your chance to come on and uh, take on the hosts to win some prizes uh, so lots going on tonight on ttr friday um be there at eight o'clock start your weekend off with the right way but thank you for watching this video guys enjoy take care